guys, here's Madame OK. Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being a part of it. If you enjoy watching the videos, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe as well as to hit the like button. Thank you so much and see you soon. Bye! Hello guys, today we will teach you how to paint a gradation landscape using either watercolors or acrylics. And I will point to you the difference. However, for this particular project, we will use watercolors. All what you will need is the piece of watercolor paper. I would suggest that it would be of a rectangular shape. Make sure that you secure the paper to the board using masking tape. And also pay attention to that the masking tape is very evenly applied so that later on we will have beautiful frames. The additional things that you will need are, of course, a, a set of watercolors, number of brushes, markers, because we will create trees, some water, of course, and paper towel. And in addition, if you would like to have some stars on the sky, you definitely can use silver paint. If it will be tempera acrylic paints, it doesn't matter. And brush or a silver marker. So let us start. I will make sure that the surface in the center is left empty and I have to make a choice of the color that I will be using here and since I like purple very much I will apply lots of water in, into my purple and then starting maybe from the edges I will apply the paint on the paper. Notice that I'm very careful that the center won't be covered with any paint. And just to make sure that I will not get too dark right away next to the center, I rather will start from the outer edges and then gradually move the paint towards the center. So let's work very, very fast like this. And you can see that I start intensify the color by using less water and more of the paint. right still quite a bit shape in the center i would suggest that in this case we would leave approximately two inches to five inches on the side okay. and then gradually notice i can go closer to the center No more paint used, just moving what we have already on the paper. Notice that I slowly achieve gradation. Możecie przestać rozmawiać, bo ja nagrywam. Daj. No to that. But I did. I get very light color coming towards the center. And I also will use a trick. I will then my paper into the water just a little bit and now i will make the swirly uh, oval motion to create the effect of gradual change of the tone from lighter to darker the next step will be to apply a little bit darker paint towards the edges and i will use blue because i like to also add some other color not just black Notice just by the corners of my paper. Remember, if something doesn't look the way you want, you can always use a piece of paper towel and try to remove it, either with dry piece of paper or with a little bit of water on it. So I think that looks quite cool. And then maybe even a little bit of black, what do you think? Maybe just, just in the corners, really in the corners. If you will be using acrylics, just for the, to be sure that you will not get any paint inside, you can first apply pure white in the center 
and then progress the same way how we've done it here. You don't want to have lots of black just at the ends. Nicely bringing it there. Now this might be even a little bit more. What do you think? I will mix it with blue. Right. And then just tiny bit more. Tiny bit more. Those three colors mixed together. A little bit of blue. Oop. And that's what I have here. Even more blue. Blue and tiny bit of black. Very good. speed up the process of drying so that helps me as well perfect this is done and now all what you have to do is to wait until the paint will dry okay we can check if you are ready to draw on the paper well i think we are so i will show you how to draw the trees so i have one marker another marker sharpies of course of different size draw pine regular rounded and this one is really really thick so depending what kind of trees you can use one on another kind now um we always start with the trunks and as a right-handed person i will start from the left side and i will go with the first trunk so this should be okay i think it will be okay and then the other one will come here more towards the left side quite straight Remember, very skinny on the top and then wider going down. We have the trunks now are the big branches. So let's start from the top. I always say that couple on the top that it can go this way. wider and going in different direction closer towards us as well spread them make them a little bit thicker next to the trunk also make sure that they are not parallel all of them right because that would be suspicious and going down they are wider a little bit heavier as well. The next step to make those tree looking really good is to go now with needles. I still will put a little bit more of the black on the bottom and maybe I will use the bigger the bigger marker to create the effects. But you can see what is going on. We have lots of lots of action here yeah, happening. And then the one thing that you really want to apply, this is still I'm making those branches heavier coming down. What I want to have 
and that is a very important part for me is I want to still bring some stars here. So those stars will be applied with, believe me or not, silver. My brush and then just that. One more thing that we want to do is we want to remove the masking tape because you want to see how nicely the edges will uh, contribute to the, oh my goodness, to the look of our painting. So when such things happen, then my suggestion would be to use a regular glue in the stick and simply attach it to the surface. I'm rushing a little bit, the paper is still not dry, so the best way is to wait until the paper is completely dry and then remove the masking tape. You can see the contrast, looks just fantastic. Okay. So I have to be a little bit careful here. Voila, that's our beautiful painting. So enjoy working on it and have a good day. Bye.